Hey, what's up, friends? It's H here, and I'm back with another epic video for you all. Today, we're exploring the question, where do thoughts really come from? And let me tell you, it's going to be a ride you won't forget. But before we dive in, make sure you hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you never miss out on the latest content. All right, are you ready? Let's do this. If the act of thinking is akin to a mental workout, then thoughts are the repetitions and humans are capable of numerous repetitions within a short span. An average human can churn out about four to eight thoughts per minute, tallying up to several thousand thoughts each day. Whether we are actively aware of it or not, our minds are in a constant state of contemplation. But where do these thoughts truly originate? It's a question that has intrigued minds for centuries, and today we embark on an exploration to unravel its mysteries. Modern neuroscience sheds light on the physical processes underlying thought formation. The brain, comprising approximately 86 billion neurons, operates like a complex electrical circuit. Neurons communicate through electrical impulses and neurotransmitters, orchestrating the intricate dance of thoughts within our minds. Our individuality and behavioral patterns are intricately linked to the firing patterns of these neurons, shaping our unique personalities. Centuries ago, philosophers like René Descartes pondered the nature of the mind. Descartes proposed Cartesian dualism, suggesting that the mind and brain are distinct entities, with the mind directing the brain's actions. However, advancements in medical science highlighted the integral role of the brain in cognitive processes, leading to a shift towards understanding thoughts as emergent from physical brain activity. Subsequent philosophical musings introduce theories like property dualism and substance dualism, which posit varying relationships between the mind and brain. While property dualism suggests that mental properties emerge from the physical brain, substance dualism proposes a fundamental distinction between the physical body and the non-physical mind. Idealism, on the other hand, asserts the primacy of mental entities, challenging conventional notions of reality. As we delve deeper into the nature of consciousness, ethical dilemmas emerge. The prospect of mind uploads and artificial intelligence blurs the boundaries between natural and artificial thought generation. Questions arise regarding ownership and control over thoughts, as well as the implications of artificial thought surpassing biological cognition. In pondering the origin of thoughts, we confront the intersection of science and philosophy, where tangible neurological processes intersect with abstract concepts of consciousness. While definitive answers remain elusive, the quest to understand the essence of human cognition persists. As we navigate through this realm of inquiry, we are reminded of the profound significance of our thoughts in shaping our existence and understanding of the world. So where do your thoughts lead you? Are you inclined towards dualism, physicalism, or idealism? Join the discourse and let your thoughts unfurl amidst the vast expanse of human inquiry.